Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math. Today, we're learning about solve an absolute value equation. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. So, we're going to solve an absolute value equation. It's very similar to solving other types of equations. But before we do, let's start with the definition. Solutions to absolute value equations. For real numbers a and b, an equation of the form absolute value of a equals b with b greater than or equal to zero will have solutions when a equals b or a equals a negative b. If b is less than zero, the equation absolute value of a equals b has no solution. All right, so let's start with this example here. For the function f of x equals absolute value of 4x plus 1 minus 7. Find the values of x such that f of x equals 0. All right, so we're going to find what values of x cause this function to equal 0. So what we need to do, set it equal to 0. We set f of x equal to 0, so absolute value of 4x plus 1 minus 7 equals 0. So our first step, what we want to do, is kind of get the absolute value by itself. To do that, we add a 7 to both sides, and we're left with the absolute value of 4x plus 1 equals a positive 7. So where do we go from there? Well, since we have the absolute value here equals 7, we need to separate this similarly like we took a, when we square a function, right? Similarly, we need to set this abs, what's the inside equal to 7 and negative 7. So let's do it like this. 7 equals 4x plus 1, and negative 7 equals 4x plus 1, and we're going to solve each part individually. Subtract 1 on both sides. You're left with 6 here equals 4x. Divide both sides by 4. And we get a final answer here of x equals 6 fourths or 1.5. Okay? The other value here, same thing, subtract 1 to both sides. Negative 7 minus 1 is a negative 8. Equals 4x. Divide both sides by 4. And x equals here, well, negative 8 divided by 4 is equal to negative 2. If we want to keep them in fraction forms here, 1.5 is the same as 3 halves. So x equals 3 halves or negative 2. All right, so those are our two values there. So we can see that on the graph, what it's showing there. Let's graph this equation right there. f of x equals the absolute value of 4x plus 1 and then minus 7. And we can see where our two y values being 0 are. It's when x is a negative 2 and, and when x is a 1.5 or 3 halves right there. And that's where the graph, when we set, remember, set equation equal to 0, it is when the function crosses the x axis. Okay? All right, so hopefully you went through a nice example here and you learned how to solve the basics of an absolute value of equation. If you did, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minutemathtutor.com